everyone so today i wanted to do a video all about my one of my favorite pokemon figure sets these are the bottle cap figures and i first heard about them or i first started collecting probably about five years ago um i haven't bought one in quite a few years now so it was kind of a short period of collecting them um but let me show you them the first thing i got was this case that is full of the figures um, this was from 7-eleven in Japan I think that's where most of the bottle cap figures that were from Japan came from um, I got quite a good price on this case because it's a bit, it was a bit fun sun faded but I think they do get quite easily faded because I've tried to look after and it has kind of faded a bit but anyway it's a really really nice case so I love it um, it must have been out I guess it was like 2011 maybe that's when this case came out something like that um, inside there's a sticker sheet really nice glossy stickers of all the Pokemon that you get in there and there was also this health and safety sheet which is always fun to look at the other side's got a picture of what's inside so I will just show you what we've got so these are the bottle cap figures I think this set were released for the release of a movie um, that's what 7-eleven were doing this for in Japan anyway so there's some really nice sets of oh this is a really nice set of legendary Pokemon and Pikachu um, there's quite a few others that I've bought as well that I'll show you so there's a variant of the Pikachu um, oh yeah a variant of Manfi as well yeah I love these figures they're one of my absolute favorite and this case is just amazing so the other figures that I got so these are the variants of Pikachu and Manfi which are in the box you can see the Manfi is made of a kind of clear material and they're both similar design this is the Plusle and Minin there's two sets of these These four are probably my least favourite of the set. Crying Bonsley with Mime Junior and then two Munchlax which are almost exactly the same. <laughs> one's got an old can, one's on a rock. And these these random ones were in blind bags. I think these three are really cool, especially the Talo taking off there, blowing up a little dust storm. The Rayquaza, there is a Rayquaza in the box as well, but these were the ones sold separately. This Mew is my absolute favourite bottle cap. It was one of the rarer ones, I paid a little bit more money for this one but is when I got this one that's when I really thought I am seriously collecting these things. Such an awesome action pose. This Entei was one of the first UK releases, it's the, or um, outside of Japan releases, it's the exact same is the one that was released in the 7-Eleven case except that it says Entei in capital letters these were the first ones I bought in the UK that actually came with the sets of cards of boxes really nice, I love Tepig and Embor especially 
I know she was really cute as well. And then we had and then we had Victini followed by Rushram and Zekrom which are really nice, absolutely love that Rushram figure and there's a normal QRM followed by white and black QRM which are also really cool figures. They have kind of perspex tubing. They look so good. And finally, the last one that I bought was Keldio. That was a good few years ago now. And these all came with box sets of cards. And there may have been other ones after Keldio. But as far as I know, they moved on to doing the pin badges in the sets. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.